Welcome students. Today we will solve first problem on the topic plane motion of rigid bodies, forces and accelerations. So let us start today's lecture. So we are given one statement over here. Let us read that statement first. When the forward speed of the truck shown was 10 meter per second, the brakes were suddenly applied, causing all four wheels to stop rotating. It was observed that the truck skidded to rest in 7 meters. Determine the magnitude of the normal reaction and of the friction force at each wheel as the truck skidded to rest. The weight of the truck is W Newtons. So we are given one truck over here and it is given in the problem that when truck was moving with a velocity of 10 meter per second brakes were applied and truck skidded to rest in 7 meters. Now we are asked to find normal reaction at each wheel of the truck. So in the truck we know there are 4 wheels, 2 are rear wheels and 2 are front wheels. So we have to find reactions at each of the 2 rear wheels and each of the front wheels of the truck. After that we have to find friction force also acting on the rear wheels and on the front wheels. So before solving this problem let us first observe the motion. So what type of motion we have in this case? In this case we have a translation motion of this rigid body because he says truck is skidded to rest. So the motion of the truck over here will be considered as translation motion. Now in order to solve this problem we have to draw free body first. So let us label reactions at the rear wheels first. So we have labeled reaction NA. This is the reaction for both the rear wheels. Now let us label reaction at the front wheels. Now NB over here represent reaction for both the front wheels. After that we will label its weight. Now weight of the truck will act in downward direction. So we are given G over here that is the center of gravity of the truck. So we will label the weight of the truck at that point and we will show its weight in downward direction. After that we will label friction forces acting on the wheels. So let us label FA as the friction force acting at both the rear wheels and FB as the friction force acting at both the front wheels. So this system of forces is equivalent to the motion of the truck in forward direction. This is given to us in the problem. So we have attached a vector of MA to its mass center. Now let us see what is given to us. So we are given initial velocity of the truck. It is 10 meter per second. And we know truck is skidded to rest. That means final velocity of the truck is 0. And we are given the distance. It is 7 meters. Now from this data we can calculate the acceleration of the truck. So we can apply this equation p square minus u square is equal to 2as. Now let us put values in this equation. So final velocity of the truck is 0. Initial velocity of the truck is given to us as 10 meter per second and we have distance 7 meters. So from here we will get acceleration of the truck as minus 7.14 meter per second square. So minus means it is a retardation. Of course we are applying brakes and truck is skidded to rest. So it is a retardation. Now after this we will apply summation Fy is equal to summation Fy effective. So let us see how many forces are acting in the free body in y direction and we will equate those forces equal to the effect those forces are producing on the truck. Now over here we have three forces acting in y direction. One is normal reaction Na, then we have normal reaction Nb, then W weight. Weight is acting in downward direction so we will consider this as negative. These two reactions are acting in upward direction so we will consider these two positive. And truck is not moving along y direction. It means their effect is zero. So we will 
write this equation as Na plus Nb minus W equal to 0. Now let us replace Na by Fa divided by mu k because we know force of friction at rear wheels that is Fa will be equal to mu k Na. So we have replaced Na by Fa divided by mu k. Same we have done for normal reaction at B. So we have replaced Nb by Fb divided by mu k minus W equal to 0. So from here we will get Fa plus Fb divided by mu k minus W equal to 0. Then we will get value of Fa plus Fb equal to mu k into W. So in this equation the value of Fa and Fb are unknown to us. So let us leave this equation as it is. Now let us apply the next equation that is summation fx is equal to summation fx effective. So let us see how many forces are acting in x direction and let us equate their sum equal to the effect they are producing along x direction. So we have two forces acting in x direction Fa and Fb. Both are acting towards left so let us consider these two negative. And these two forces are responsible for the retardation of the truck. So this equation will be written as minus Fa minus Fb is equal to minus Ma because these two forces are responsible for the retardation of the truck. So that is why we have considered retardation over here as minus A. Now this equation will reduce to Fa plus Fb is equal to Ma. Now we have already found value of Fa plus Fb in the first equation so that is equal to mu k w so let us replace this term by mu k w so we will get mu k w equal to m a now from here we will replace w by m g so m will cancel out and from here we will get value of mu k as a by g a over here is the acceleration of the truck which we have already calculated that is 7.14 divided by g that is 9.81 so from here we will get coefficient of kinetic friction as 0.728. So from first two equations we have got coefficient of kinetic friction. Now we will talk about the third equation. Third equation will be equal to summation m is equal to summation m effective. So that means we will find the moments because of all the forces acting in this free body about a particular point. And we will equate that equal to the moment because of their effect about that particular point. Now let us find moment because of all the forces about point A. Moment because of Na, Fa and Fb will be equal to 0 because these three forces are intersecting point A. So these are intersecting moment center, their perpendicular distance is 0. So we are left with only two forces that is W and Nb. So we will calculate moment because of these two forces. Moment because of W will be clockwise moment and we have to consider this as negative and its magnitude will be W into 1.5. Moment because of NB is counterclockwise so it will be a positive moment and its magnitude will be NB into 3.6. So equation will be minus W into 1.5 plus NB into 3.6. Now we know this system of forces is responsible for MA. So let us find the moment of that vector about the same point. So moment because of MA about point A will be clockwise that we have to consider negative and its perpendicular distance from moment center is 1.2. So on right hand side we will write minus ma into 1.2. In this equation we will replace mass of the truck by w by g and we have already calculated acceleration of the truck as minus 7.14. So let us put these two values in this equation. Now over here we have equation in terms of normal pressure at b and w. So from here we will get value of normal pressure at B in terms of W. So that is equal to 0.659 W. So once we get normal pressure at point B then we can find friction at point B which will be equal to mu k and B. 
So let us put the value of nb in this equation. Mu k we have already calculated as 0.728. So from here we will get value of friction force at point B equal to 0.48 W. So we are getting answers in terms of W because in the question weight of the truck is mentioned as W Newtons. So we have calculated normal pressure at B which is normal pressure at point B that is for both the front wheels and we have calculated value of FB which is frictional force for both the front wheels. Now we will put value of NB in equation 1. Equation 1 was Na plus Nb minus W equal to 0. So let us put value of Nb in equation 1. Then we can calculate value of Na. So from here we will get value of Na as 0.341 W. So we have calculated value of normal pressure at point A which is pressure for both the rear wheels. Then we will calculate value of Fa. So that will be equal to mu k Na. So put the value of Na in this equation. Mu k we have already calculated. So from here we will get value of friction force at both the rear wheels. But in the question we are asked to find magnitude of normal reaction and friction force at each wheel. That means we have to divide these values Nb, Fb, Na, Fa by 2. So in order to get normal reaction at each of the front wheels we will divide Nb by 2 to get our answer. Similarly, in order to get normal reaction at each of the rear wheels, we have to divide Na by 2 to get the final answer. Similarly, in order to find friction force at each of the front wheel and at each of the rear wheel, we have to divide Fb by 2 and Fa by 2. So, we will get our final answers. I hope this particular question is clear to you. Thank you very much.